this is really perfect. Oh! There's a horn dad up in that crevice. He can move really quick. Whoa! My name's Jack Randall and I'm a zoologist. Wow! And I'm showing you every animal on the planet. They're not seeing me as a threat. Spinning cobra! Hello. Absolutely gorgeous. Going about their business. Yes. Come on, let's go. Amazing. This is a naturally formed canyon. So over millions of years, rain would have come down here and then cut in and created this deep crevice. But what it's done is formed this beautiful habitat. So you look here, we've got all these little crevices down here. There's little caves over there. Really, really nice habitat for my next target species, the horned adder. The horned adder is one of the most expertly camouflaged snakes in the world. The species is very variable in colour depending on where they live. Here, they are earth red, so I need to have an extra keen eye to spot one in this canyon. Wow, just come up from this side of the banks and just approach this troop of baboons. They obviously live in this canyon, that's their little hidey holes in there. Ooh, that is so cool! Often you don't even get this close to baboons. They obviously feel quite safe because they know that I'm not going to try and cross that water. They think I'm not going to cross that water anyway. I might just see how deep the water actually is. It's not too bad. It's not going too deep. Oh. This is a good opportunity to observe their behaviour. So we've got a troop that's a family. They live in families. And there'll be one dominant male that's in charge here. But then you have friendships. So you see the two top baboons up the top there? They're grooming each other. And so you, what you have is that male and female friendships in a troop. They groom each other as a way of building that friendship. Hello. You're trying to work out who I am? No, he's getting inquisitive now. I've never ever experienced this in my entire life, spending time in Africa, where you have a wild baboon coming to you as inquisitive. It must be this water, it feels very safe. So you'll notice that these baboons aren't swimming. Baboons don't like swimming. It's not a safe place for them. Bit of a fight going on now. That's not good. He might fall in the water. They don't like swimming. Oh! Not good. So obviously the infant wasn't just playing up a little bit. And the male was just throwing him off the wall, chucked him in the water. I must now check to see if the baboons let us pass. Any further, these baboons don't want me to go past that point. They're getting a little bit agitated, so I'm going to have to go up back around and see if I can start the horned under mission from the other side. I don't know how much water there is, but we'll give it a go. Go on, let's go. Oh, it's a long way down. I've come to the top of this canyon now just to get a better viewpoint. I actually can see what route I might be able to take. So the baboons were just over there. But I'm going to go this way. But actually, it's looking a little bit deep. The water's starting to look a bit deep. It's a bit concerning. Snake! There's a snake down there. I'm going to have to go down the other way. OK, I've got it. And I'll just put my mic here. 
there you go. Just to give you a nice, good close-up view of this sand snake. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm just in love with this location. It just has so many little nooks and crannies. Right now, there's a lot more water there would normally be. So all the animals are coming down here. For much of the year, animals spend their time just deep in their crevices. They're estivating, it's like, the, it's like the complete opposite to hibernation. But this time with lots of water, they're all coming out. So this is just perfect, prime time to be out here looking for snakes. Right, I'm gonna release the snake, put him back on his journey. Watch the way this snake is able to swim through this water too. This is amazing. Okay, three, two, one. Yes. Sand snake. Now there's a problem. I want to go that way because I reckon that's a really good habitat to find the horned adder. But this water now is getting a bit too deep for me to push on any further. So I'm going to need a new plan. You'll see there's like overhanging caves and little crevices where it will be hiding, waiting for, not, for the night to come down, which is when they tend to hunt. This is really perfect habitat. And so this is literally the only way I can get down this canyon. up there. Okay, there's a horn dad up in that crevice. How am I gonna get him? Can you see a horn dad up there? All right, okay, this will be interesting. The boat's gonna go away too. It's gonna stop that boat from going. The, thing is, the good thing is about horned adders that they're just like pups and they stay very, very still. Yes! Woo! It's a beauty as well. Absolutely fantastic. Okay, this is going to be quick. If they start noticing that I'm around, he's going to move really quick. Okay, I've got the horned adder. He's in my bag. But now my boat has gone over there. <laughs> Now I'm going to show you this guy up close and personal. So I'm going to get the kayak, I'm going to pull it back down, um, there's a bit more dry ground that way. I've just put my mic on so you should be able to hear me properly now, but here we go. We've got a little horn ladder in here. This actually is possibly my favorite species of snake here in Southern Africa. And it's nothing to do with the size of the snake. It's the way they look. Obviously, they've got their name a horn ladder for a reason. And you'll see this one. See, I'm, I'm, I'm nervous around the snake. Really nervous. The speed of this snake is insane. Come on, mate. Ooh. 
Okay. okay. He's gonna come out here, here. Wow. There you go. You can see that, like all of whoa, like all of those biters, the adders, they puff out. And it actually, at that size, it is it's quite amazing how how loud they can actually get that puff. But what you can also notice is the way they, they can get they can coil up like that. You can see it's in that little S position. They kind of you wouldn't even want to get your hand anywhere near that. If you tell that snake, I can guarantee you, absolutely 100%, you'd get bitten. Even my hand, a little bit closer than there, is incredible how this snake is able to strike out and jump up at the same time because it uses its puff, like inhales out of its nostrils and exhales and kind of puffs himself out, boom, and he can and strike and jump at the same time. They're so well camouflaged in these, it, it, on this sand, this soil, and also in this, in the little cracks and the little nooks and, whoa! I've got to keep my, be careful what I'm, where he's going. He stays in the little nooks and crannies as an ambush predator waiting for prey to come along. And this is the time, it's getting towards the evening where they start to get a little bit active. If I got bitten by this snake, it would be fairly bad news for a few days, but it wouldn't kill me. It's a cytotoxic type of venom. It causes necrosis, kind of local swelling um, but also could cause more damage than that. So it's very similar to a puff adder's venom, just the venom yield isn't as much, and potentially the strength of that venom is not quite as much either. But still, you do not want to get bitten by this snake. This is a fully, absolutely fully charged, highly venomous snake. Do not underestimate the power of the venom. Oh, there's a little lizard as well on my foot, right by my foot. So that'd be perfect prey for this snake. That's the sand the sand lizard. So that's exactly the kind of prey that this snake would be after. You can see there's one horn above each of those eyes. And I'm not entirely sure why they have those horns, what the actual purpose is. No one's really worked out exactly, but I reckon it just allows them to blend in. It's just amazing how camouflage works in, in nature. Just certain shapes and certain colorations allow animals to blend in into their environment. And if you think about it, the eyes are the first thing that a predator or prey might notice. What an incredible experience seeing this, this particular species in the most incredible environment possible in a canyon. Woo! Okay, thank you. I think I pushed my luck a little bit. I need to get out of this canyon before night falls. Oh, he opened his mouth for you, saying goodbye. And let him go in his little crack. I'm gonna say happy hunting and horned adder. Yes!